All right, in this, in this video, I'm gonna be putting the trailer back together. I've got close to $200 worth of trailer parts. I got most of them from eTrailer.com, but then I had to get some from Tractor Supply because the price was better at either replace. But um, what I all had to do, I, um, I had to strip the whole frame down because it was bent. Um, I put a tractor jack on it and the chain, I got it straightened out. I went to the scrap yard, I got a new tongue for it, it's a 3 inch, 3 inch by I think probably 8 or 9 foot, that's going to be perfect size. Um, I got new lights, I had to pretty much rebuild the whole axle. The hubs feel pretty good for now, but down the road I'm going to have to rebuild them, but I had to get new studs for them, new lug nuts, because here's one of the old lug nuts, you can see the uh, they weren't tightened up right and it wore a ridge right there on the bolt so the lug nut could not go all the way down to snug it up so i just went ahead and replaced those uh, now i'm going to get the tongue cut and bolt it up into place Alright, the tongue coupler, it's all bolted up. It looks really, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm still gonna paint this all so I don't have to worry about how it looks now. But now I'm going to take this main tongue and bolt, uh, well, set it up in here and uh, mark and drill the holes so I can bolt it onto the frame. Alright, the tongue's all done, it's all bolted up. Uh, I think I'm actually going to run a bead on the inside of all these nuts just to make sure they don't go anywhere. But uh, it's uh, a lot sturdier than the old one was. Now uh, I'm getting the leaf springs set up. And basically the old slip mounts that were on it, uh, they were too short. So I had to cut them off and I'm moving them back about four inches. Um, and I have to re-weld them. And then I think I have to change out the bolt that holds the leaf springs together because that won't fit on the axle. 
but uh, you know, I'll get it figured out. I'm gonna, I have to load everything up on the tr uh, on the four by eight trailer and take it to the front yard because there's 220 power up at the well, and uh, but there's no two, there's uh, no 220 down here right now because it just stopped working. So I guess that's that's where I have to do my welding for now. But uh, that's no big deal. welding I need to do on the trailer is done. Uh, I didn't weld the tongue. That should be fine because it's got lock nuts on it. Uh, that's not really holding anything so I didn't weld that bolt. But I welded this bolt right here. I just welded inside the head a little bit right there. And I welded these chain hooks. I mean these chain links inside the frame to run the lighting cables through. And on the back I cut some like one and a half inch angle, two inch angle. And uh, I welded it to the frame. That's what the lights are actually going to bolt to. And then I moved the leaf spring slips, I guess. I moved those back a couple inches. So now I should be able to put the leaf springs on and then put the axle on and turn this thing upside down and probably get painting. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm putting the axle all together. I'm getting the leaf springs attached and everything so I can just take this up to the front yard and attach it on the trailer. Uh, when I was welding on the trailer, it it just you know it gained a lot of mass. It was a lot harder to move, so I thought I'm just gonna put together the axle down here, take it up there, attach it, and then bring the trailer back down here once it's done. All right, my lighting's pretty bad, but uh, I got the trailer completely built out today. Um, I have it on the back of the tractor, just so you can probably see it a little bit better with that light, but. Uh, here it is. It's uh, it's straight as can be. It's it's way better than how I got it. It's got the two inch ball, which I like. Um, I basically I built this trailer way overkill than what I'd actually need. Um, it looks ten times better than how it did when I got it. It's got the brand new 1800 pound leaf springs, new U bolts, um, new light mounts. They're a lot sturdier than the old ones. I just took some like a uh, quarter inch angle, I think it's two inch angle. I welded it to the side. I'm gonna drill holes in it for the lights. These things are both seven inches. So it could almost attach a fender to if I wanted to. Just put another one of these up here. But um, yeah, all I have to do tomorrow, which I'll include in this video, I need to get some paint. I'm gonna put the runners back on and get carpet for the runners. I'm thinking to try and ask Home Depot if they have a uh, like remnants that you can get like from the end of the, one of those big rolls uh, so I don't have to pay a really expensive amount for something that's going underneath a boat so uh, I'll get back to it tomorrow when I got some paint all right I have the trailer all painted up I didn't paint the rims because I'm probably just gonna get new ones uh, or at least tires and I'll just wait till uh, I get the new tires because the tire shop will take the tires off I can take these uh, rims and sand them down real good. And I think they actually might be tubes now. Actually, they're not tubes, but I got the whole trailer painted. It looks really good. I use this Rust Oleum. Um, it's the uh, Stops Rust uh, Protective Enamel Gloss Black. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm waiting for it to dry. I think it might be dry to the touch by this evening, considering it's 105 out. But um, I'm probably not going to start wrenching on it or putting those rollers back on till, uh for another day or two just to make sure it's fully dry. And, you know, I think it's going to be all right. What I need to do next is I need to drill the holes and run all the wiring for the lights. Get that all squared away, then it should be uh, good to go so I can get it registered and uh, get the boat back on it. All right, well, I got going. I got the trailer it's all done painted and dried um, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm getting the wiring ready to go on and marking on these uh, I think you can probably see these lines I'm trying to figure out where to drill the holes to mount the lights uh, I got another like I got another one of those kits um, like I did for the 4 by 8 trailer this is a different company I think the first one is Reese this one is Opatronics I think uh, and this is a submersible since it's a boat trailer 
there's one thing I've noticed on these two kits is that this ground right here this is you're gonna, you're gonna put this little uh, this little round eyelet on here and you're gonna screw it to your tongue but this white cable is just too dang short because even I know this, uh, this is at a weird angle but I mean it's still it's it has to be able to move freely if it's gonna be a trailer but you plug this into the car and then still it doesn't even reach it probably needs another foot for me to be happy with it so I have to it's not really a plug-and-play kit you have to modify it some but you know whatever it's not a big deal so right now I'm gonna get these uh, holes marked out and I'm gonna get them drilled all right I have the lights done uh, they went together really easily I think I actually like this kit a bit more than the, uh, the Reese package that I tried before because uh, I had a lot of trouble connecting the wires uh, that you run through the frame. I had a lot of trouble connecting those to the lights because instead of having a little pigtail that comes off the light, you had to slide it into the little slot and you know it was just I didn't know how to do it and it was frustrating but this was really easy. Um, I went ahead and used wire taps instead of these wire nuts that they included. Well, they included the the, the taps with it, but the, along with that, they include this uh, this little harness that you're supposed to put on your vehicle if you don't have one already. Uh, with the other kit, I put that one on my truck, and uh, I'm actually just using my mom's car because uh, um, my truck's not running right now, so I need to get that fixed too. But the lights are on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the the uh, runners I guess I don't have carpet for them yet but I'm just gonna attach or place all the wood on them so all I have to do is staple carpet over I don't think I'm gonna include that in this video because it's pretty boring I mean just cover a piece of wooden carpet and call it good enough another thing I remembered with these lights is uh, I don't have to hook up this white ground that I was annoyed with earlier because uh, I forgot that you can run a ground through a ball it's not always the most reliable thing but uh since it's going to be my trailer and I can check it uh, before I go out on the road, I don't have to worry about it really. So I think I'm just going to nip that little white cable off and consider my ground to be through the ball because that's how it's hooked up right now. And as you can see, it's working absolutely no problem. And uh, one last thing, I have to put the marker lights on the side of the frame. I think I'm going to put them uh, about right here, uh, just past this little cross member.